you're doing, folks. Back out. So, sun shining, a new wee gadget to try, and we are back cooking. So, we're going to have homemade cheeseburgers, lettuce, tomato, full works. But, new toy that I'm going to show you today is from Yola. So, comes in a lovely, nice case, canvas, a wee kind of top buckle thing at the top, holds it in place. And then this is an actual stove. So they do two different sizes of these. This is the larger one. It says it takes 10 minutes to put up. So, let's just see. Sorry, 10 seconds. 10 seconds to put up. It comes with a few different sections. I'll get it all out of the bag. So this is the main body. As you can see. Right, I'll, do it. I'll turn it around and we'll give you a closer look when we're putting it together. As well as the main body, also comes with this section here. So it literally just clips in either side I can work out how to do that there we go so that's the kind of ash plate you can get a kind of cold grill and then it's obviously got the section at the top which is basically slots in like that and that's what you can do your cooking on. So it really is pretty simple. Oh, sorry, and it's also got this section here, which I believe I think this bit just sits on the front, just that acts as a kind of guard. What I do like about it as well is adjust so you can have the bottom stay at whatever height you want so I think I'm going to have it out there so what we'll do we'll get it set up quite like the fact the grill sits in quite nice and neat as well it'll just burrow you around and give you a better look so that's it all set up, and it literally does take 10 seconds to put together. So we're going to fire it up, and let's see if we can get a couple of burgers cooked on this. Right, let's get it set up. What I do like about this as well is, it's actually a really good size. You can actually fit a fair, probably sit a, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to sit burgers on the top of this. But you can probably you'll be able to sit like some pots and things on the top of it as well. But tonight, it's burger time. So I'm going to let that wood uh, kind of burn down a wee bit and then we'll stick the burgers on after that. Some be kicking. So the Yola wood burning camp stove. So it basically folds up like a book. Ten seconds to assemble. You use it with a gas stove underneath it. You can sticks, wood, pine cone. It's made out of 430 stainless steel. You get the main body, the ash plate, the coal grill, the pot stand, and it weighs in at 1.65 kilograms. So reasonably light for a fair size of kind of cooking area. But we're going to get the burgers on shortly. That will just burn down just a nice kind of heat and then we'll stick the burgers on. I don't actually know if that grill on the top I've, I've got burgers so I don't know whether I'm actually better actually getting a pan to cook them in. Or whether I, I mean if you look at the grill it's 
it's quite wide at the top. So I don't know how well the, the burgers will sit on that. We'll soon find out. These are homemade. So I'm hoping they don't fall apart. I'm sure they won't. So onion breadcrumbs. Onion breadcrumbs, an egg. And the meat. So homemade burgers tonight. Oh yes. Taste test time. Bad disaster when I'm filling. So it's definitely more a pot stand and just been able to just stick it straight on. One of them, as you can see, at the dust. Anyway, let's see what these taste like. Right. Time to dig in. Monster burgers. Homemade. Lovely. So again, quite handy. I definitely would use it with a pot. And a cup of a <coughs> maybe a thinner grill on the top so you can so you can just like chuck stuff straight onto it. That's the Euler grill then folks. It's not bad. Nice wee carry case. Folds up reasonably neat. That is a that is the bigger one, you can get a smaller one, like I said. I'll put the links below to where you can get it. That's us folks. All done for another video. So thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching. Uh, I don't know, might be out of camp next. Probably might do one more cooking video uh, when we're back out camping again. So, make sure you tune in. Thanks again, folks. Make sure you hit the like button. Hit subscribe if you don't mind. Uh, hit the bell for future notifications. Catch us in the next one. Take care of us.